Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is great. Um, I, I know I asked yesterday for topic ideas and I appreciate all of the ones that I received, but I did have another thought about Gen Con. Well, more about me, but whatever. It's related. Uh, as I was walking today and having a little thought, um, I realized that, that there's a part of me that is very, very different from a part of me in the past, and that is how I handle uh, those kind of situations. Like, not only just Gen Con, but like the build up to it and the fallout after it. Um, because the person that I am today handles that very differently. I've always said that I am neither an introvert or an extrovert. I'm somewhere in between. I'm like an extrovert who needs alone time. Um, and that's true. I can be very extroverted when I need to be. I can go, you know, weeks, months, whatever, just full on extrovert mode and do just fine. Uh, but at the end of all of that, there usually comes some sort of like, I need to be left alone for a while. What I've realized is I don't think that's the case anymore. Um, usually post Gen Con came with a big crash. It came with like a week of me just kind of like needing to readjust to life. Uh, but my life right now is so comfortable and pleasant and good that it's been the exact opposite. Like I feel like I needed to build up to going to Gen Con as opposed to coming home. Uh, meaning it used to be Gen Con was like this beacon that I, that was like, you know, it was my vacation every year. My vacation was to go work my butt off, like literally just work the hardest I've ever worked for the whole year for a week. And that would recharge my batteries for a while. It would keep me going. Um, now that's not, that's not the case. Now I very much enjoy the show, but I enjoy the show for its own reason. Like not because it's an escape from my real life, not because it's me putting anybody or anything on hold to live this imaginary world for a while. That's what it used to be. Uh, now I get to enjoy it because, well, I enjoy it. Like it's a pleasant experience for me. Despite the complaining, despite all of the work, all of the struggle, getting the shipments, paying the bills, I still very much enjoy it. But it's no longer like, a, it's like, I cannot wait. While I was at Gen Con, it was, I look excited to go home. Like, I, I, I want to go back to my regular life. And that's been a very different switch for me. A very, very different switch. I felt for a long time that doing the gaming industry stuff, it was my way, of, it was, it was I, a, a way for me kind of to break out of the cycle of not underpaying jobs I was in, you know, it was like, maybe I can turn this into a lucrative career. Maybe board gaming can be a way for me to make money because I'm good at it. I'm good at logistics. I'm good at games. I'm good at whatever. I thought I had an in. I thought maybe I could do it, but it just didn't work out that way. Um, but, and, and in the reality was, it was more of a place, it was more of a shelter for me than anything. I was using gaming and the gaming community as a shelter from my actual life, which was challenging. It was very challenging. I don't think, I don't think that any, any marriage that ends in divorce, I don't think anybody looking back would say, well, that wasn't a challenge. Like it was, my whole life was a struggle and I was, gaming was an escape from that. It was a way for me to isolate for a while to find my center and to come back and be a little bit better or more balanced or whatever. I don't have that anymore. I'm good. Life is good. Everything is great. Kids are good. Marriage is good. Finances are good. Like it's good. And so gaming is no longer the escape that it used to be. I don't have an escape anymore because I don't need to escape. You know, I don't, uh, I, I love reading books, but I'm not reading them to get away from my real life. I love playing video games. I'm not playing them to get away from my real life. None of that stuff. I don't need any of that stuff. In fact, look, I'm sitting here looking, you know, you're here. 
just to there is my motorcycle. That used to be a way for me to get away for a while, to just jump on that thing and go. I don't need that anymore. It's been sitting for years. I've driven it maybe a 500 miles in the last five years. I doubt it's even been that much. It just sits because I don't need it as an escape anymore. It's just a, a thing, you know? Uh, and I think that's, I think that's all very good, right? I think that's a very, very good thing. Uh, but I also found that coming home from Gen Con, I didn't need the downtime. I didn't need the alone time. Um, I had such a good time with friends that I came home looking to have more good times, right? Like, wait, wait what now? Let's do more stuff. That's more fun. Let's do more fun stuff. Like, let's, you know, oh, let's go, go, go. Um, and I think that's awesome. I mean, I really like that change. I really like that part of me. I really like that I'm able, you know, that I'm willing to look forward in, to these changes because I feel like for a long time I was very stagnant and I was very adamant about remaining stagnant because that's how I dealt with everything. Like if I don't change, then it's the world that's the problem. That's not how that works. <laughs> That's not how that works at all. So I will get to your topic ideas tomorrow. Please keep them coming. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know sounds smart is Yantra. It's a noun meaning a, geom a geometric diagram used to help out, help one meditate. Wow. During El Eloise's foray into Buddhism, she kept forgetting her mantra, so her teacher gave her a yantra that she could affix to the wall in front of her meditation cushion. Yantra. Y-A-N-T-R-A. -A. I've been meditating for most of my life, and I've never heard of that before. Uh, I mean, I've used, I've used mantras, but I've never heard of a yantra. That's really interesting.